Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Nacho Problems, where we turn ordinary recipes into extraordinary nachos. I'm Nacho Queen, but you can call me M. We're continuing our world tour this week with a trip to Ukraine to make Cherniki nachos. Cherniki is a type of pancake made with cheese and served with jam and sour cream. It's popular in Ukraine and the surrounding countries. It sounds pretty tasty, so let's get started. Step one, the cheese. We'll be making a strawberry jam called Vernyai as our cheese. And for that we need one pound of sugar, one pound of strawberries. I'm using frozen, but if they're in season, fresh would work too. One tablespoon lemon juice and three quarters cup of water. Start by adding the water and sugar to a large sauce pot and stir well. Yes, this is my small pot, but it boiled over. Use a big one. Bring it to a boil over medium heat. Boil for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's a thick consistency. We'll test this by dropping a bit onto a plate and see if it holds its shape. That looks pretty good. Now add in the strawberries. I'm spooning mine in a few at a time to avoid splashing. Remember, hot sugar is very dangerous. It's not only hotter than boiling water, but because it's so viscous, you can't just wipe it away easily. Next, bring it back to a boil and then reduce the heat to low and simmer for 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it. After 10 minutes, take it off the heat and allow to cool for about 10 more minutes. Next, we're gonna add in the lemon juice and then use Sean Blendez here to blend it up till smooth. You can do this while the sauce is warm, but not hot. You might not be able to tell, but I turn Sean off whenever I lift him up to reposition. This keeps him from splashing strawberry goo all over my kitchen. If, after blending the sauce, it isn't as thick as you'd like, you can always put it back on the stove and cook for longer. But I'm gonna leave it like this and move on to... Step two, the chips. The Serniki will be our chips, and for that we need 15 ounce of farmer's cheese. This was a little difficult to find. I'd try substituting ricotta or possibly cottage cheese if you can't find it. Just drain as much of the excess liquid as you can. Four eggs. 3 quarters cup of flour, plus more for dredging, 3 tablespoons sugar, half a teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 teaspoon vinegar, and some oil for frying. I used olive oil, but I recommend a more neutral flavored oil for yours. Start by combining the cheese, eggs, flour, sugar, and salt in a large bowl and mix until well combined. Next, combine the vinegar and baking soda in a small bowl Stir and then pour into your batter. Now take a hand mixer, like Sir Mix a Lot here, and beat the batter for one to two minutes until it's an even consistency. It won't be smooth because of the cheese, but you shouldn't have any large clumps. Next, add a thin coating of oil to a medium pan over low heat. With an ice cream scoop or a similar size spoon, we're gonna add a dollop of our batter into a bowl of flour. Then gently cover the batter with flour until you can pick it up. Pat it between your hands to remove the excess flour and form it into a small patty. Then carefully place it in the pan. We're gonna cook for three to four minutes before turning it over and cooking for three to four more minutes. We missed filming the end of the first batch when the jam boiled over, but here's the next batch, which they turned out better anyways. That's our chips. Let's see what's up in Step three, the toppings. For our toppings, we just have some sour cream and more strawberries. Nothing to do here, so let's finish this up with. Step four, let's eat. We'll start off with some of the cerniki. Top them with some of that lovely vernyai. Add a dollop of sour cream and finish with a strawberry. Let's spin the wheel to see who's up for first bite. And young son it is. Okay, so pancakes don't really make good chips. They're too soft, especially these. He also didn't care for the sour cream, but thought the rest was really good. I thought the sour cream added a nice tartness to the super sweet sauce. Overall, not the most successful nachos, but still a great dish. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and please consider subscribing if you wanna see more nacho videos. If you have an idea for a future video, you can leave a comment below or tag me on the site previously known as Twitter. I'm at NachoProblemsYT. I've also linked my blue sky below, but you won't find me on Facebook, Instagram, or threads. If 
you're looking to steal my apron, well that's Nacho merch, but you can get your own at the link in the description. Now, I need to go practice my pronunciation before next week's video, but that's not your problem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.